What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Founders Brewing Company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is Sumatra Mountain Brown. I reviewed the 2016 version of this beer last spring. Um, found I really enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to checking it out again. Here's what Founders has to say about the beer. This bold imperial brown ale gets its body from a team of malts, including caramel malt for sweetness, flaked barley for dense foam, a bit of chocolate malt for its deep color, and aromatic and Munich malts to add even more depth. German and pearl hops add a touch of bitterness to balance the malty sweetness. In addition, the rich Sumatra coffee takes this perfectly balanced imperial brown ale to a decadent level. 9% ABV, 40 IBUs. All right, nice deep brown color. Uh, almost a uh, little bit lighter than a cola color. I can uh, almost uh, see my fingers through the other side of the glass, and that's uh, not really a haziness issue that there might be if I hold it up to the light, but that's just from um, how dark it is. Uh, actually, as is now, I'm kind of kind of seeing it's maybe a little more some reddish highlights bronze highlight somewhere around there as it holds up the light um it kind of turns into a little bit of a burnt orange highlights um but still a nice deep dark brown color and what maybe a finger's worth of head maybe uh right there um maybe getting a little bit of a chocolate aroma off it already just from I haven't even had anywhere near my nose and my nose tends to not be that great but uh let's go ahead and give it a try mm, yes uh so a uh, bunch bunch of Chocolate on the aroma, plenty of foam, uh, pl plenty of foam, plenty of coffee as well. Mm. Mm hmm. And very much carries through into the flavor as well. I checked out my review from last spring on this beer, and it remarked on how how bold and powerful the coffee notes are, and Sumatra does tend to be a little bit more of a, uh, I think a little bit more on the bold side in terms of coffees overall. And I would say it's certainly very present here, but the, the little bit of the caramel sweet note and, and uh, certainly a bunch of roastiness um, are also very prevalent uh, in this beer. So it is, uh, there's quite a bit of sweetness, though not overly, overwhelmingly so, overwhelmingly so, uh, but uh, certainly very present. It almost kind of plays like maybe like a chocolate porter somewhere around there. Because you're getting plenty of roastiness from the, the coffee, from the Sumatran coffee. Um, but... Uh, and, and I guess maybe it was a high ABV because it is an Imperial Brown that, that kind of takes it more into a little bit more of a darker beer territory. Maybe just a hint of hop bitterness as well, but not, not a whole, whole lot. Uh, again, the coffee notes are very much forward. The, the, the caramel, a little bit of chocolate as well. Maybe a little bit of cocoa rather, I would probably say. Um, not super sweet in, in the cocoa department. Um, and then that, that big roastiness from the, from that coffee, but, uh, a little bit of earthiness as well coming out of that coffee, but man, is that delicious. Uh, wow. I really loved it last year and I'm really loving it this year. It's, it's great, great coffee, a uh, great, 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 great beer, great, great coffee beer. Hmm. So that is founder Sumatra Mountain Brown and, and that does it for this edition of poorly rev reviewed beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find those links and usernames in the description below. And if you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.